The Swiss Archaeological Society is celebrating its centenary this year. At a festival held in Fribourg, visitors could see displays of artifacts, restore pieces of pottery, learn about crafts and recipes from the past. It was an opportunity to reenact scenes from the past and reflect on how to preserve a disappearing heritage. Events like the festival are also about winning more financial support. Some cantons have plenty of cash. Others, all in central Switzerland, don't even have their own archaeological service. We're going through it uh, through a period of a lot of construction, of increased construction and uh, development. And that means, consequently, that a lot of sites are going to be menaced or are being menaced or are being destroyed. And uh, if you care about the past, the thing is, every site that's destroyed without, without any control whatsoever is a loss, and it's a loss that is not replaceable. You erase it with a spatula, you only cover the holes. Right, and when the Romans ran out of wax, they wrote on wood. That you can't erase. The thing was then thrown away. Two thousand years later, archaeologists dig it out, and they can read what the Romans wrote on the wood preserved under the soil. The message on the wax disappears. On wood, you can still read it two thousand years later. Switzerland was settled already by Neanderthals, uh, and there were some hit finds, very few, but there were some finds. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, after the last Ice Age, um, it's continuous. You have from the uh, hunter-gatherers uh, to the first farmers who come here around uh, 4500 BC, and then um, Bronze Age, Iron Age, the Romans. Uh, Switzerland was a Roman province with some important Roman towns. Lorica segmentata is made of iron plates that put it together with um, leather strips and uh, it's normally about 10 or 12 kilos. Celts and Romans fought bloody battles over Swiss territory. Today, archaeologists also have to put up a fight to improve or at least maintain their position. Maybe less brutal, but still crucial.